Good morning, traders. Well, major US indices finished in the green uh, Monday session. Uh, as lowered inflation expectations coming from a, a used car figure that showed uh, the prices had dropped quite a bit, uh, saw Treasury yields come off those highs and bolstering stocks and also giving the US dollar a bit of a hit. Uh, Russell 2000 clear out before was up 1.64%. NASDAQ squeaked out again uh, after spending most of the session negative territory. Uh, late in the session rally saw that finish in the green there. Um, that's interesting enough, saw that ratio, the NASDAQ divided by the Russell, um, again, find some stiff resistance around that 8.2 level. Um, bonds, bonds saw a big move to the upside, bond prices that is, as treasury, treasury yields tumbled. Um, the US 10 was around that 4% level, which obviously was going to be hard going from there. It's found a lot of resistance the last couple of years, and sure enough, those yields came off on those uh, figures as well, um, seeing bond prices have a, a pretty good rally, one of the biggest rallies they've had in the last month. FX markets, uh, US dollar not surprisingly sold off on the back of those uh, those yield the yields dropping. Uh, dollar index broke through that psychological and, and minor support level there at 102 and late the session finished on the lows. Uh, Euro saw gains mostly due to the weaker US dollar with uh, Euro US testing 110 to the upside, highest level since June 22nd and it's pushing right at the top of that range there. Um, ECB member Nagel also bolstered the euro a little bit, uh, comments reaffirming that inflation remains too high. Uh, the yen, Japanese yen, saw some pretty solid gains with a dollar yen falling from peaks of around 143 to lows of 141 and, a, and some change. Uh, yen supported by that move low, obviously, in US Treasury yields. Uh, also, traders, I think, being a bit wary of that 145 level where the Bank of Japan has intervened in the past. Uh, gold gold had a wild ride last night. So it finished mostly flat for the session, but had a very sharp dip early on uh, down to that kind of support level around 1912 US dollars an ounce. This is a, a spite a weaker US dollar and lower Treasury yields. So pretty bearish signs for gold. And you, you think that uh, while it holds below that 1932 resistance level, it's, it's looking fairly bearish for the yellow metal there. Uh, today's economic announcements, the main risk event will be the jobs data from the UK at 6 a.m. GMT. Uh, rates markets are split on the move, next move from the Bank of England. So uh, half the market thinks it's going to be 25, half 50. So this is one of the two uh, major news releases between then, between now and then. Uh, so whatever these figures come in at will, will be a, a big part in shaping what the market thinks may happen at that next Bank of England meeting. So expect some uh, volatility in the pound over that.